In this video, I want to talk about a different way to using Adobe Dimension to create uh, objects for Photoshop composition or even for After Effects uh, video comp uh, composition. So um, most of the time we talk about the dimension, we talk about how we can create a photorealistic 3D scene, um, talk about packaging design, but it really is a place uh, or the uh, a new method to create so many objects um, with uh, materials and the lightings uh, that can be used uh, for multiple objects, uh, multiple projects. So let's begin with this to create the simple process. So first, create a new document. And here we, we follow the, the basic uh, uh, object, uh, basic process is first go to uh, some models. Um, here we just uh, uh, drop a very simple coin here. Um, so in this one, um, you know, we don't have to change anything. Okay, but it's also it will be uh, better if you can uh, make a multiple copies, um, so you can have things from a different angles. Uh, so, for example, we have this one here. Um, so first, we'll drop our model, and uh, it's, it's a really different dimension uh, way to using dimensions. Um, so then we'll directly go to materials, and probably we can drop some, uh, you know, like a, a very nice color uh, or materials. Um, so, for example, like this rainbow um, property, um, and then we direct directly go to the uh, next step um, of this uh, lighting uh, and other settings. So, so let me see uh, if there are any settings we can do here. Okay, so let's go continue to the uh, light event. Okay. Sure. All right. So we have this one, um, and. Uh, since we're more uh, see this uh, project or this current canvas uh, as a way uh, for us to produce uh, objects for uh, other project for other project, um, so what you can do is using Command D to make multiple duplications. So for example, select this one and hit Command D, uh, and then you can move this one uh, X Y Z. Uh, as you need it, to, most of the time we can just you know drag, drag to have several copies, and Command D again to have another one, um, and also you can rotate uh, in different angles, for example, um, like that. Okay, make some several uh, variations. Okay, so we can use this one in uh, 2D mode. We have uh, more variations for this one. Um, and also a one a very e essential shortcut for this to make this one uh, quite easy to use is Command uh, Period key. Uh, command Period. So we can move, bring everything above the ground. So we can see all the uh, all the content. Okay. So select this one. Uh, I believe there you can uh, do. Uh, from the right hand side as well is so this one um, is move to ground okay so move to ground so we can see those things um, uh, in the object with this object um, and they may have some details to do but uh, in this round I would just do this kind of like a very simple thing um, but I wanted to share one of a way um, that I really encourage you to do if you want is using um, you know, dimension to create a really fancy and beautiful uh, 3D object for your 2D uh, project um, is to uh, remove this shadow op uh, opacity here uh, from 100% to just drag to zero. Um, why we don't like it? Because um, when uh, when you do the uh, the competition, um, the when the Photoshop opens this document, it is actually uh, the shadow is in the uh, the the document in the in the late pixels layer, um, and you have uh, extra steps to remove those shadow, um, and so this is a perfect place you know, just to remove this one shadow from here. But it will still keep those shadows. We still keep this shadow in the system because it's needed. Um, but it's invisible, so there's nothing uh, uh, to worry about this. Uh, so we can easily get those elements later. Okay. Uh, so I'll just do a very quick, you know, like a um, quick uh, change rotation. You know, basically just the materials, and uh, I also want this one to be a little bit like that. Okay. So in case you wanted to resize. Um, 
uh, remember to uh, find those square and hold the shift key so you can do the um, resize. Okay, and and do it. Okay, I kind of like just uh, want to go uh, something like this, and uh, I would just you know just move to the uh, render section. Um, and it will just keep everything to default. So I will keep this one uh, at the first range at uh, coin uh, one. Okay, um, so I'm just render it. So this one shows as a white background, but it's really just, uh, um, uh, you know, you can have the option to remove this background. So let's go to move to the next step, um, how we can use those uh, objects. Uh, so basically we have the render down, you can just go uh, right click uh, or just using this uh, drop down menu um, select the first one edit in Photoshop um, so you can add this object in Photoshop uh, with those layers on okay uh, so this layer panel shows here there are several um, selection masks um, which is very actually very helpful um, but in this case even we're already since we already removed the background so what you can do is just simply um, select the background lay color layer and delete uh, so you got this transparent background okay this transparent uh, you know object uh, so what we want to do next is we're going to render uh, this image uh, you know make this one into three different layer so we can you know you can you can post you can copy this layer to somewhere and you can uh, also uh, put it into a photoshop composition and then you can even use this one for xd project to to create interaction design uh, smartphone app um you know it, it's a 3d uh, objects so um so what i want to do next is we just simply hit l and you know can kind of very roughly uh, select the object we want to to keep okay so to separate from this you know render layer uh, only one render layer image okay basically we're doing that um so we can also do this one with a different method but i think this one will be um in, in this case it's a fast and easy okay and the more uh, i think so you limited all the possibility uh, you know problem uh, so just using l and it just kind of like very roughly to select one object because we design those object the objects in this way uh, and then what you need to do is to um command x okay command x so this one disappeared and then you can then um, paste this one in place so that would be command shift V command shift V okay so you first command X so what 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 you got is uh, you know uh, let, let's just go back again um, so you can see that we, you you first got the selection and you go to edit um, and you cut so this shortcut is command X cut it um, and then you go to edit and paste um, special here is paste in place um, that means you paste uh, into exactly the same position okay exactly the same position that means you keep you know can kind of keep the original um, in this case um, it's optional okay so you can do command V directly there will, there will be in the middle of the uh, in the center of the current canvas um, but I highly recommend that you do in this way command x and then command shift v okay so first you you, you create this um, selection and then you go you want to go back to the render image later again which you can see this one have a two uh, image here i'm going to do the same thing uh, for this uh, the third object here or just quickly um you know this using shortcut l and uh, to you know quickly select this object and hit command x command shift v okay so now we have a three layers that can be easily using for all kind of uh, projects um, for example we can we can um, have this object have this image um, you know ready for after effects animation so um, we will show that in a separate uh, uh, demonstration video um, to show you how we can combine multiple different uh, objects different shapes materials angles um, and using those concepts to create a you know like a 2.5d animation or um, you know photoshop composition